If you are a Yoroi wallet user and you want to participate in governance on the Cardano ecosystem, this is the perfect video for you. I'm going to go through how you can delegate to a DREP, register as DREP yourself, or, or choose one of the default options such as abstain or vote no confidence so that you can participate in the governance era. Let's get into it. Now on your way in, make sure you hit that like subscribe button and you'll be kept up to date with all these different video tutorials around participating in the Cardano ecosystem, whatever it might be, DeFi, governance, or even simply staking and trying to optimize your returns there. I'll try and cover all those things so that you know how to operate yourself within the Cardano space. So let's start off this one here and open up your, your Roy wallet. If it has been a while since you've looked at it, it has changed quite a bit. The Mergo team have been working really hard to improve the wallet and they've done a fantastic job on this. So from the left hand menu, let's click on governance and have a look at what we have here. You have three options here from the Euroi screen. You can delegate to a DREP, vote to abstain, or vote to no confidence. Now, the idea here is that you're delegating your voting power to one of these three options. So if you have 100 ADA in your wallet, that voting power is assigned to one of these particular options. So you can abstain and put that voting power to abstain and it won't be counted within any of the votes of proposals or governance actions within the Cardano space. Or you can vote no confidence, which means you're not confident with what's happening here. Or in this case, I'm gonna to delegate to a DREP. And to do that, we can click on delegate. Now from here, you just need to paste in the DREP ID of the person that you're delegating your voting power to. Now here, I'm just gonna to go to my X profile and copy in my DREP ID and go to here and paste that in. Next, I'll just need to click on confirm. And here we have the transaction that we need to pay for this particular delegation. And if you're familiar with delegating your, now if you're familiar with delegating your ADA to a stake pool, it works in a very similar way, but this time it's delegating it to a DREP. So I'll put in my sending password, click confirm, and sign that transaction. And that's essentially it. That's all I need to do. And now when that hits the blockchain, this wallet here would have delegated its voting power to my DREP ID. So now I can go back to the governance thing here and that will update and that will show that I'm delegating to a DREP. Now, if you wanna find other DREPs, you can crawl through X and uh, search for DREPs and there's various different DREPs out there that are promoting self on the X uh, platform at the moment. You can also go to the website gov.tools and go to the DREP directory. And here we see a whole list of DREPs. This is uh, ordered by voting power at the moment. So these are the people that have the most, uh, the highest amount of voting power assigned to them at the moment. You can find my profile a little bit further down here and you can copy one of these profiles like so, that will copy their DREP ID and you can go back to your Yoroi wallet, click on change DREP, paste in that brand new ID that you might've copied over, click confirm and then delegate to that particular DREP. It's really quick and easy to change a delegation if you don't like the way that particular DREP is voting in the ecosystem. So the whole delegation process to DREPs is very fluid. You can change at a whim and it will only cost you that particular transaction fee. Now, if you do want to vote abstain, simply click on abstain and it's the same process. You just need to pay that transaction fee, paste in your password to confirm that transaction and you're done too. And that's the same as no confidence. Again, just repeat those particular actions. Now, another way of delegating to a DREP is directly from the GovTools website. If you're looking through the DREP directory here and you found someone that you want to delegate to, let's say I want to delegate to Dino here, you can connect to delegate by clicking on this button here and connecting your Euroi wallet. This will trigger the Euroi DAP connector. Choose which wallet you want to connect and this will log you into the website with your connected wallet. In this case, my Euroi wallet. There we go, we're connected, connected to mainnet. This is Dino's particular DREP directory uh, page. You can read about them, see what their motivations are, their qualifications and objectives. You can follow their social media profiles as well, Discord, YouTube, and other various links. And here you can click on delegate. This will bring up a pop-up that you need to confirm and sign, and that will delegate your ADA to this particular DREP. So that's another really easy way of doing so. 
Now, if you want to become a DREP, it's really easy to do so from the GovTools website. Now, because I'm already logged in, I can click on dashboard and then scroll down a little bit here and you can see the option here to become a DREP. So click on register. And here you have the inf general information about becoming a DREP. It's important to note that there is that 500 ADA deposit that you will need to have in regards to registering. This is very similar to when state pool operators register their pools, they need to pay this 500 ADA deposit as well. This is to help stop spamming the network with registrations because there is this deposit uh, involved in that process. People are less likely to create spam registrations. So from here, let's click on continue. Now here we need to put in some information about yourself. In this case, I'm just going to write test and leave the information blank for now. It is highly recommended if you do create a public profile and you want people to delegate to you, you'll need to create your reference links and an identity link as well. Just follow the instructions here on what you need to do. Now, the last thing here, you may want to add in a payment address. If D reps do get paid in the future, uh, the payment address here that you select would be where your payments would be sent to. Now with this step here, you need to store this information that you just registered online somewhere and maintain it. So this is really important so that the information is linked between a, a, a personal storage area and the, your online registration. So I'm going to click on agree here and click on register. Now you need to just download this particular file. This is a JSON ID file. So I'll just save that to my desktop. And now you need to find a location to upload this. Now in other video tutorials, if you check through my channel, I've uploaded it to GitHub and it's a fairly easy process to do. But another way that you can do it is using IPFS, the Interplanetary File Storage System. And I'm going to use here Pinata. This is a, a very common one that you can register for free and upload files to. So I've just registered and I have logged into my account. And now I'm gonna click on add from the top right hand corner here, choose upload file, navigate to the file that I am uploading. There we go, there's that test.json.id and click on upload. So now this is uploading it to the decentralized storage through IPFS. And this is my file here. So I'm going to click on that. And this gives me the URL of this particular file. So I can copy that from the address bar, navigate back to the GovTools website, paste the URL here, and then click on submit. Now the GovTools website will check to see if this matches up. And if it does, it will give you a transaction that you'll need to sign. And this is that 500 ADA deposit that you need to do. So there it is. I can see it's looking all good. So I'm going to put in my password to verify this transaction and submit that on chain. And there it goes. So that's it. That's the process of registering as a DREP. So let me just recap for you here. I've gone through and shown you how to delegate to a DREP within the platform, how to abstain and vote no confidence as well. Those processes are super easy to do. And then go through and register as a DREP using your ROI as well. And there we go. You can see I am now registered as a DREP. This is my DREP ID here. So I can copy that, paste it to my social media profiles, post it to a website that I might create or anywhere else to share it with the broader community if I want to gain that delegation power. If you don't want to gain delegation power from other users in the ecosystem, you can keep this DREP ID private. You can have anonymous details within your registration and it's highly unlikely that anyone will delegate to you and you can just vote on your own behalf. Now, if you liked this video tutorial, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe notification bell so you get kept up to date with all the other tutorials that I'll be producing, course material and much, much more for the Kidano space. I'll see you in the next video.